So today we're going to extend your thinking using odd one out. You've done loads of thinking so far around shape and its properties and similarities and differences between shape. And that'll be really useful in the main task today when we play Guess the Shape, where you'll have to look at different shapes and think what's the same and what's different and to be able to guess the right shape. Good luck, enjoy, it's going to be a good one. So Odd One Out is just a brilliant game for looking at shapes and comparing their properties and seeing what's the same and what's different. Um, we enjoyed introducing it yesterday. We're going to extend uh, that theme today. And again, to start out, we're actually going to use animals. A kangaroo, a lion and a cow. Hmm. So which one's the odd one out? Can you think of reasons why each one could be the odd one out? Pause the video and have a go. Well, I wonder what you came up with. For me, I said the kangaroo's the odd one out because it stands up on two legs. No, wait, the lion is the odd one out because it's the only meat eater. I actually had to find out about this. Kangaroos actually eat plants. Um, no, the cow's the odd one out because it's the only one that lives on a farm. Different reasons it could be for, for each one. Um, well, let's see if we can go to um, these four shapes. So pause the video and um, how many reasons can you give for each one being the odd one out? Okay, um, well these were the reasons that I had. Well shape one is the odd one out because it is a quadrilateral, it's got four sides. Shape two, I had to think about this one, I went for it's the only one with one right angle. Shape three is the only one where all four, all three, sorry, all the sides are the same length as one another. Those three sides are all the same length. And shape four, well, they have all different length sides. None of the sides there are the same length. And that's what, to me, made shape four the odd one out. Today we're going to continue talking about shapes and looking at shape properties, uh, extending the themes from yesterday. But we're going to do it by playing a game that's called Guess the Shape. Uh, I'm going to explain how you can play that game now. Um, and we're going to build up the skills that you'll need as well. So let's have a look at these shapes here. So the, these are the six shapes we're going to start off with using. And if we're talking about their properties, I, I could talk about the, the number of sides the shape has. And so this is a pentagon because it's got five sides. Um, or I could tell here that there, there are three quadrilaterals here because they've got four sides. Um, I, I could talk about the size of the angles. Um, so like this angle here, for example, on the pentagon is an obtuse angle because it's more than 90 degrees. Um, this angle here is an acute angle on the parallelogram. So I could think about how many acute angles the parallelogram has. And here on this pentagon, and also, of course, on the rectangle and on the triangle here, we have right angles as well. Um, so angles that are, if you like, square angles that are 90 degrees. Um, so I could also talk about shapes like if they've got any parallel sides. Um, now, when we say a parallel side, a parallelogram, the clue is in the name, has parallel sides. It has two pairs of parallel sides. Because this side and this side, they always stay the same distance apart from one another and this side and this side do as well. So they're parallel. But if we look at this pentagon here, for example, this side and this one are not parallel because they don't meet, but you see it's much closer here than it is here. So those sides don't stay the same distance apart. Um, so there's lots of ways we can talk about, um, talk about shapes and their sides and their angles. Um, now what I want you to do is just pause the video and see if you can use some of that language now. So see what you can explain about any of those shapes, about, about their angles, about the sides uh, and uh, parallel lines or, or any other things you could describe in them. Okay, let's have a look at just a few examples of the kinds of things we could say. So let's say if we were looking at this pentagon, pentagon B, I could say it has two right angles and it has three obtuse angles. Whereas triangle B, I could say it has two acute angles, these two sides that are less than 90 degrees, and one right angle, for example. Uh, the pentagon, I could say, well, that has no pairs of parallel lines, but it's got five sides that are all the same length. Of course, another thing I could talk about, for example, is symmetry, lines of symmetry. Um, so I could say that triangle A has got three lines of symmetry, one here, one here, 
one there where I could I could fold the shape in three ways and it would fold perfectly. Now, this is our next challenge. Um, so for these same shapes, I want you to think about whether you can think of something that is true just for one of the shapes. So you could say one shape has, can you think of something that's true for two of the shapes? Two shapes have, what about for three of the shapes? Well, three shapes have, four shapes have. I wonder how many statements like that you can think of all the way up to what all six shapes have, maybe. Um, so pause the video and see how many different ones you can think of. So let me explain the ones that I got, what, what I went for. Um, of course, you might have found different examples. So, so I went for one shape has uh, no lines of symmetry, just the parallelogram. All the other shapes have got lines of symmetry. Um, two shapes have all sides the same length. So the pentagon, all its sides are the same length and its angles are the same, it's regular. So is triangle A, all its sides are the same length. Um, for three shapes have, I went for three shapes have acute angles, at least one acute angle, triangle B, triangle A, and the parallelogram. Um, for four shapes have, I went for one right angle or less. So triangle B, A, triangle A, the pentagon A, and the parallelogram. I couldn't think of one for five shapes have, so I'd love to know if you've got any suggestions for that one. And for six shapes have, I went for six shapes have straight sides. Now, I'm going to show you uh, the game we're going to play. It's called Guess the Shape. Um, so we're going to use the same shapes, and you need to think of a shape. Um, so, okay, so I've thought of a shape. Um, and what you need to do then is, is think of questions that, that... So there's two player games. The other player thinks of questions that could be asked um, to figure out the, the shape. So let's say it is... Does the shape have a right angle? I could say, I would say no, my shape, it doesn't have a right angle. So I know it's not either of those three shapes. And then it, the next question could be, does the shape have any parallel lines? And the answer to that is uh, no. No, so it's not the parallelogram. Um, let's say it is, the next question could be, does this shape have any obtuse angles? And I'd say yes. So it couldn't be triangle A. And then you could work out, well, it must be pentagon A. That's our game. So for your independent task, you're going to have a go at playing Guess the Shape. Um, and I've got some shapes here. So th these are the same set of shapes that we've been looking at. Or it might be you want to play the game, but with a few extra shapes. So there I've added a, a trapezium and a hexagon to the list of shapes. Um, so again, you'll need, it's a two player game. So one person will need to think of a shape. The other one asks the yes or no questions and see how few questions you need to ask to be able to work out what the shape is. Now, of course, you could play this game, but making up your own set of shapes as well. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I will see you again tomorrow.